Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here to do a really quick flip through of my current Foxy Fix setup. So as you guys know, E. Michelle bought this for me and sent this to me and I did a little like unboxing type of situation which I will link that video up here. But it just says believe in gold foil and then it has a fox and pip bow on the spine with the gold foil. So to my knowledge, this is a number eight. I don't really know a lot about Foxy Fix, so I don't really know if that's accurate, but that's what I am assuming. So anyway, I have the same um, decor pretty much. Oops, I don't know where that fell, where that came from in there maybe. Anyway, when I was in New York at the New York Planner Addicts Masquerade, I got this kit in swag. I think it was like a Planner Society kit and it had a bunch of like, um, like, cardstock and die cuts and things of the sort so pretty much everything that you see came from that package so this is like you know a free setup so I'm here for that so same picture um this still remains the same these two things I added they're just like journaling cards I believe added some die cuts there one of those clips um this girl she's cute she says okay but first coffee and then this I actually think I made this at a planner meetup so that matched and I brought out that but I'm just kind of showing you guys like also how I use it so I when I was in New York I got a bunch of signatures from different people different table mates and whatnot so I have that I had them to sign the back of this card no it's the back of a different card but I had to leave that card in there that card stock in there in order for that to still show so anyway this is my notes page, so I write down like all types of notes here, so that is what I use that for. I have this paper clip dangling, dangling from the top, love it. And then I have some more of the card stock. I don't love it, but I honestly don't care that much about having like a super bomb setup. That's not what I'm going for, because you know, I'm mainly a functional planner. So I don't like love the peachy orange color, but it came in the kit in that pack, so I figured I would use this. I don't know that I care that much about even having any of this in here anyway. I do like little cute stuff like that and whatnot, but I don't know that I really care a whole lot about the different choices of card stock that I use. I just added, you know, just it was kind of cohesive because these are all different colors. So this is my daily planner, the Erin Condra Petite Planner. It is January through March. I actually use it pretty religiously. Here is my February monthly, and then I have two paper clips here, and usually this one, both of these typically hold my page, so I can flip right to it. So we're currently on Sunday, and I am doing what I'm supposed to be doing, which is filming this video. Um, I have coaching momentarily, so I need to hurry up so I can finish that. I have um, budget coaching, and then business coaching today, three sessions. Um, and so anyway, I use this regularly. I pretty much plan in it every night. If you follow me on Instagram at Shea Budgets, then you know that already. But literally, I just, um, when I get in bed at night, I pull out the planner and I write down all of my to-dos for the next day. Now, sometimes I go ahead and start like pre-planning. So these are things that I need to do tomorrow. I have a gym appointment there. So I also use it for like pre-planning. Going out of town, Thursday, that kind of thing. So um, I can write that in at some point and I will, but yeah, I kind of use it for pre-planning. And then I'm just showing you guys really what I have going on. It's not like a super bomb setup or anything like that. That still remains the same. Um, this is April through June, same type of planner. It's the petite planner and I have started pre-planning here as well. So pretty much I plan out at like six months in advance, I guess. So anyway, I've already started for April. I have some things for May and June as well. I don't start writing in the daily part of it. I literally do that on like a daily basis. Moving in to this next one. This is a monthly planner and I have that clipped together so you can't really see, but it is the monthly, which means that it's not a daily. So you're not gonna have the daily behind each month like you just saw. It's just strictly monthly and then a bunch of notes pages in the back. 
Um, and so I use this for planning out my social media and my Etsy shop releases, which I really only do one release per month, so it's really not that big of a deal. And also my coaching, so anything related to my business. This is pretty much a business planner. And then literally, you guys, that is pretty much it. I could go on and on <laughs> about it. Um, I do use this for measurement purposes because I had to make E. Michelle a kit. She wanted a kit for her petite planner, a budget kit, so I did use it for measurement purposes. But like I said, I could go on and on and on, but really there's not really a whole lot to this. This is literally it. And I have some more of the die, um, die cuts and I did cut this cardstock down to size and I rounded the corners but that's pretty much it like nothing super fancy I use it for functionality I do have a Villa beautiful pin here which I got in swag in New York as well and I am obsessed with this pin Michelle once gave me a pin I think this is it for my birthday and it's pretty and all but it didn't write that well the ink skipped it was super annoying so I had like deaded the whole <laughs> the whole Villa Beautiful thing. But then I got this kit in swag and then I was told that the ink quality has improved and it very much has, so I'm here for that. But this is pretty much it. You guys, I do add stickers here and there. I guess you didn't see that. That's one thing that I missed. I, I do add stickers here and there when I can, if I feel like it, if I have time of the evenings, if I'm bored at like the car dealership, I will just throw in some stickers and normally these are leftover stickers from my kits that I use in my Erin Condren life planner and th these t you know this one and this one these are pretty much my two main planners that I use to keep my life together and then also my budget planner but that's to keep my budget together and not really my life <laughs> but anyway this is pretty much it like I said super simple um, not really a whole lot to it like I said I could go on and on but there's really no point I just wanted to do like an updated flip through and to show you guys um, to show you guys the current setup of course and how I'm using this so I don't know that I've done that before I think I told you guys how I was going to use it but I didn't really share with you guys how I was actually using it so anyway that's how I'm using it I am a little worried about this white jump band although um and the cover just itself about it being dirty and whatnot that kind of worries me but I guess until it gets dirty I mean I know I can change it out but I mean, until it looks gross, I'm going to keep using it and that'll be that. So anyway, I just wanted to share this with you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.